Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level to Mega Base Factory. So at the end of last episode, we just saw that we needed to go fix our copper, and uh, as soon as we have done that, let's start to uh, set up our utility science and uh, see how our factory uh, solve that that part. So let's see here. First things first, we will need to give this a new kind of belt. We'll need to give it a double input as well. I think that might actually be more important. But uh, at least giving its own belt in instead might actually solve some. Because it is consuming a whole, what's it called, copper belt. Now we run into the issue that we haven't really made room for uh, for more lines in we have two going over here and uh, yeah if we stop one of them go this way we can jump the other ones in if we want so i think that's something we'll try and look at so for now let's just try and do this let's just give ourselves a bit of room to work with that means we can jump let's just jump this for now Let's stop you. And let's see. We want one to go this way. That'll kind of have to be the top one right here. So let's take you for now. We'll kind of have to move this a bit. I think this will actually be fine to do it like that. I think that will connect up correctly. Then let's take in this one. If it has to go over here. We could take it down this way and in. Top one, the next one will go down, and this one, then straight. And that seems to be enough room for what we need. So let's try this. You go down this way. Let's move this over one. To right here. Because I have been... Uh, Planning this out a bit wrong, but I think this should solve the issue we have. At least until we get the two other belts in. So that will give in to this one. Then to this one, we'll just kind of have it going in like that. For now, and that should, in theory, make sure that we can consume everything we're throwing in. Because if we just make this... Oh, like that, if we make it like this. That'll mean that they consume an entire red belt. And this one will consume an entire red belt as well. And then everyone is uh, very happy. There we are. So that should consume both our red belts of copper as long as we can uh, supply it. This one looks like it's jammed somewhere. It's jammed right here, it seems. That makes it flow perfectly. That makes it flow all the way to the end. So now this is running as fast as it can. This one over here is missing inputs as well. Looks like it can consume more than what we're throwing into it at the moment. And that is one what's called a two yellow belts. It can consume twice that. So it can actually consume two red belts in. So we might have to find a solution for that. Though it's not really an issue since we're not really producing enough what's it called iron in. So we'll leave it at this for now. And then we'll have to go look at our next thing. And that is actually our coal. Most of it is going to power. So we'll have to go and just grab this small amount up here, drag it in. Because the other coal part is uh, is way, way, way into the distance. So let's grab some more belts before we go on that expedition. Yeah, it'll start to lag quite, quite soon. So let's see here. Red belt. 
Let's just take as many as we can. Hopefully that's enough to get us back to civilization. Here's some more poles. We can never have too many of those. And the miners, we have 27. Uh, might be enough for the patch, but let's just grab a few more since we luckily haven't been made. So where do we want the coal to come in? I'm thinking like something like it's going in right here, supplying this one first and then continuing down to the main base in case that is needed. I think that will be uh, the best solution also in terms of uh, the amount of belt we need to lay down. So let's just drag from right here for now. It should be right over here. We can get a robot to help us if you want to make it a bit uh, something like this, because doing this is a bit annoying. But doing it with robots can actually help quite a bit with this uh, problem. So look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And let's just add one more of these, giving us a total of what's it called? 30 robots or 20 robots we can use. So that should make this a lot easier to do and save us quite a bit of belt. There we are. Now we can just kind of go straight again. So here's a little coal patch. Not really the biggest. Let's just do this to uh, make it a bit easier to grab. How much do we have? A bit more. So we can actually go over here and grab this as well. So let's grab it all. Luckily, we have a little blueprint, blueprint even we can use. So uh, what if we just do something like this? Uh, you can go right there, should be fine. You'll be good, good, good. And there we are. And let's grab this one just a bit by itself. Go in here. You are fine. We'll need you to go up this way. And merge together with the rest of the belts into one main line going back. And then we just need to give it a bit of power. And then we should have tapped this entire base. Let's just see. That works on all cylinders. Except we of course forgot a single belt at the further away point. That is how it normally goes. There we are. So now we're getting coal from up here. Just a small amount in. And let's just hook that up to our little base. We can go down right here, I think we'll be fine. And can we jump it so it goes to here? Because that's actually exactly what I want. And let's just give ourselves a way, way through. Just like that. And then we can just hook this up any way we want. Please go around this way. And back in. Here comes the coal. Up priority to these. And whatever else you have, go down this way. probably have changed it to a red belt but for now I think this will be just fine means we can remove this one and make it into a red merger saying impurity from right and then we can do that 
Uh, might want to upgrade these to a red belt just to make sure we have enough throwing through. At least until it splits off somewhere over here. There we are. So hopefully this will solve our coal situation. We still have 180 here. We have about 207 up here, plus the productivity. So that's actually not that bad. Giving us a bit more than 500 coal. So next thing we need to look at is pretty much our stone. Let's just drag it in from over here and hook it up to our main network. Oh, why are you not hooked up? Whoops. Doesn't look like we're missing the iron, but uh, we might as well have it all running. There's no need to, uh, to be silly about that. Did it miss somewhere down the line? No, it looked completely fine. So let's see here. Oh yeah, belts. Belts is the first thing. They are slowly crafting. Trying to keep up. We might as well do that just to make sure it runs non-stop. And let's grab you and yeah, we have enough splitters for now. And there we are. So minus, we have more than 50. We have quite a lot of stone furnace, to be honest. But things are being consumed quite, quite quickly. Yeah, those robots will get to me in just a minute. So stone brick. Oh, in theory, just stone coming in. Let's drag that from, uh, let's see where it lines up. Let's just get it from up here so we don't have to clear out all the trees. So let's get it right here. Come with me. You can't do that if trees get in the way. You can just hold on shift, goes place, and the robots will clear the trees for you. A nice little trick that uh, I normally use quite a lot when building my bases. So here we are. And you line up right here, should be fine, all the way out. Can we get it with three rows? That would be very, very nice. Oh, oh yeah, we'll just flip them afterwards because I can see I put them in the wrong direction. So we'll just flip them a bit. go let's merge them up or merge them up even and do that that and in out so there we are that should activate no problem at all just need to get the power poles back to base Could we'll probably drag it down to here. We should have some. And that activates this part. Oh, something is missing a bit of power. What went wrong right there? Oh, it's probably this one robot down here trying to, uh, or assigned to do it. That's what's happened once in a while. Yeah, look, these three is what's uh, holding up the construction of those. So let's just do it by hand. Oh, that's correct. Then we should be good. At least everything is running, giving us not a full built back, but uh, at least giving us more than we have. So time to merge it into our belts. 
I can see that we are gonna lack a small amount of belt when doing this. Let's just do this to hook it up and then we'll just go grab some more red ones. Couldn't ferry steal them from over here. Just for now. Because we need this more than uh, the other one right now. There we are. Red merch. Input priority from the right. There we are. A lot more stone. Yeah, that's good. The rest is just kind of clearing out. Coal flowing nicely. No issues. Iron is flowing through fine. Same with what's called copper. Stone is starting to throw in. We'll have to maybe expand our brick production a bit. So let's just do this and expand it down. Uh, it will fit in here, here, and there. So let's just get that built and get some more bricks flowing down the line. As I've said many times before, this is also one reason why I love the main bus build here for early game. Since it makes it so easy to spot what you're missing and uh, just to expand down the line. Of course you have to watch that you can still input enough. Because that might actually be an issue here since they take uh, what's called two stone to make one brick. So it has to take quite a bit of stone to do this. But we'll just let it run and see if we can't get uh, a full belt out. Or at least half a belt out. Because we need a full red in to get a full yellow out. So uh, we might actually set that up. Not that we have a full belt of, uh, of stone. But uh, it could be nice to have. Just to uh, future-proof ourselves a small amount. So, as promised in the last episode, I will start to set up what's it called? Utility science, or at least get the next parts done for it. So, first thing, we have utility processing. That is set up. We have that uh, stored down the line. Oh. That on the main bus even is what I'm trying to say. So uh, getting the rest of those set up. So that being the robotic frame and load into structures might be the next thing we go for. So batteries, electronic circuits, steel plates, electronic circuits are all electronics are all on the main bus. Or almost on the main bus. We have a mate. So uh, let's find a spot for them. We could add them right next to our red circuits. We have one, two, three, four lines of three being used. So uh, we might just want to uh, make sure that we don't block these. This one I can save for something else. So we might just start two over. So instead of right here, we'll say Thing be right here because that'll be some tracks that already, that it's already used. So one, two, three, four. That's used. So the next four will be one, two, three, four right here. So to get these onto the main bus is luckily very very easy. We have done it so many times before now that we can pretty much just do it in our sleep. Let's steal this one. That one looks quite good in terms of uh, what we want. So please go right here. Turn it around so it goes the right way even. There we are. Of course we have to remove these. To be honest we can just do... Oh yeah, a neat trick if you're trying to do this. Do a blueprint. Then you just click up here and say, oh I don't want that one. Oh, sorry. 
Let's do it again. I double clicked for some reason. If you mark this one and just right click on the belts, you can leave whatever you want. So you have a beautiful blueprint like this that you can use wherever you want. That's a very, very neat trick. So need it out from this one. We'll need it out from the batteries. So right here would be good. Jumping over a few more. And we'll need it out for the blue circuits as well. Right there. So that'll add all four to, uh, to our main bus, making sure that two of the four things we need is on and the process units, which we also need is all the main bus. And then we just need to load the engine afterwards. And all those things are already on the bus as well. So um, I think we should be able to get it done this episode. I can't see why not. And in uh, difference to the other signs we've set up, I will kind of try and do, um, let's say, a non-perfect ratioed one. That's also fun to do once in a while. Meaning that we'll just kind of throw whatever we have into it and just expand out further up the line if we need more. It's a lot easier to manage. And as long as you make it modular, it's uh, actually a quite nice setup. Let's grab some of these. Let's grab a bit of you. Always be good. A few more of those. Longhand is not really that needed. That should be good. And I think that's all we need to set up what I want. So let's go down here. I'll just let our robots build a bit more of our base as we go. Except that we don't want this to be built, to be honest. Wait, no mind, we'll just leave it. And then we'll just see here. Please come outside. Here's the first one. Oh. That's that one. Going out this way. Oh, they're going far back. Then they'll merge into the first one right here. That will be our these. The next one will merge out one further out. This one will just kind of jump. Continuing down these two. And then the third one right here. We'll just let these two jump across and merge in right next to them. So here's a lot of things we need for um, a utility science or yellow science or whatever you guys like to call it. There we are, there we are, there we are. Come back little robots. You're such busy, busy bees. And let's just stop them from doing anything right now since it's a bit annoying that they're flying all over the place. So let's see here, there, 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 there. Here, that is that flowing through. We need to hook you up as well. That is our batteries flowing through. All the way out here and here is our processing units flowing, flow, flowing through even, if I can even speak. So those three will be on the belt now, main bus. And let's set up a flying robotic frames first. Four inputs. Let's just do it with half belts since we have a, a quite long crafting time. So let's see here. If we do it the same line out here. So right there, one. Let's see here, we do right here. Two belts in, one, two. That leaves a bit of room for just something. You never know what happens when you're building a base. Then we would like to say we want robotic flying frames or flying room frames right here. One belt feet, so that'll be long, one long, long and fast, oh, fast, fast. Or, and there we are. Let's just give it a bit of room, give it a bit of power, both sides, always good. And then I'll put that directly into here and a belt going the other way. That way that is. 
So this setup should work for making the frames. We just need our inputs. That means we can expand this down as far as we want if we want to increase our production. So let's see here. Come with me. And we have to go grab a green circuit as well, right here. And we'll grab our steel. So steel and green circuits could be on one. So let's just take those two. They can go on the top one. So I'll be right here. Where is our little blueprint I was looking for? This one. Lining up right here. There we are. So let's see. Let's go the opposite way. Other than that, it was perfectly lined up. <laughs> Flip it. Place it down. There we are. And how can we get them all on the same one? First things first, let's remove those. Take you away. And let's say we want this one to be here and here. So we want you to go down that path. And we want the green one to pretty much just merge in like this and jump the rest down to here this one on the other hand we want to just merge we could do it something like right here and jump you over and the rest can pretty much just continue down as as intended that's gonna be a problem isn't it I have a feeling that's going to be annoying in the future. Unless we just jump it like that. That way it won't matter at all. And you can go away. And then we can pretty much just do that. So that's half of the inputs for uh, flying robot frames. So now we just need the last two. You can come this way with me please. Hopefully made enough room to uh, place this one down. And we should. Oh, we just need to do it a bit further down so we don't overlap with... Uh, oh, it should, it should be fine. Right here. That'll be good. And then we'll jump you all the way out here and grab uh, these two. Activate our robots to start to build a bit. And let's see. You... We'll have to go further down a bit. So in. One will be right here. The other one. The, this one will go through. And we can pretty much just split it off right. Where should we split it off? Where should we split it off? Will right here be good? Right here. And then we'll just kind of jump you across like that. And we can jump this one to here. And that was the wrong spot. I have to do it one further down. I see that now. So pretty much move this down one. Jump from here to there. There. And there. A nice split off from this one. This one will go down as well, and you'll go this way, and you can jump there. So that's an easy way to split off two of them, going to our frames. As soon as we actually build the rest, here we are, build, 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 and just merging in like that. That should give us our flying robot frames that is actually very nice look at that guys we have automated flying robot frames and the last thing we need to automate is pretty much just low density structures and let's do that as the last thing this episode pretty much the same setup we could leave room for um, a two lane uh, thing so pretty much flipping it around like this just to make sure we can do both in case you want to expand in the future 
there we are. Let's just uh, leave it like this so we have the room. Next thing, let's go down here. We'll want two belt, two lanes in again. Of low density structures. And pretty much one full belt of uh, copper plates. Since that uses way much, much, way more than the other ones, and then a half belt of plastic and a half belt of steel. So we can actually pretty much just steal you and throw you down, down here. We'll just kind of change what you want. So instead of that, you do low density. Might have to do a two-way one as well as up here. So pretty much just copying the setup down here. There we are. Changing you into low density structures. And then we're actually quite good. So copper on the, the inside one. You'll have to jump a small amount. So from right here to there, you can go in down and split off that will be a full belt of copper then we need to steel and plastic steel is right here or plastic on the other hand is a bit further up so let's just go and grab that can't remember how far back it is but i think it's quite a bit oh it's right here let's grab you Come with me. To right. Let's just take the maximum range. Maximum range. And continue down to here with it merging up with this one. Something like that there's the plastic so what we could do is do a side loading on this one to be honest we can just do this and do a side loading that way doing that and then just jumping you to yeah let's just say right there that way we'll get plastic on one side. And then we can get the steel on the opposite side. So we come out here. Go this way. And then we just need to jump the steel over and go in from the opposite side. Here and splits. Going around this way. I think that'll be fine. There we are. Plastic steel on the same line. Yeah, come on, robots. Plastic steel going in. And as the last thing this episode, we'll just kind of watch it go. Oh, that's a wrong place to put that. Hopefully I didn't misalign something too badly. That's correct. It's just this one. That's messing up our thing a bit. So let's just do it like this instead. There we are. Jump, jump, and in. And then we can do the last one right there. So as this starts to work, I think this will be a good place to stop. We are a few minutes off, or... Oh. Pretty much an episode of getting uh, our utility signs, meaning that we have all the basic signs before the rocket launch. So uh, that is actually very, very nice. So um, I'll end the episode here. We got a ton done. We'll have to watch our uh, iron inputs since that is, uh, is most definitely lacking. So we'll have to uh, watch that in the future. Stone is doing fine, 
no issues there at all. Iron is lacking a lot, so we'll probably have to go on an iron expedition, which is uh, quite a ways away, unless we build a little land bridge or have to go this way around and getting down. Uh, that is going to be something for next episode. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you'll give me a like and a subscribe. And then I will see you in next episode. Bye, guys.